Hello, everyone. Hello, parents. Hello, teachers. Hi there, my dear students. Welcome to your English class. This is Darisa Jimenez, your English teacher. In today's class, we're going to talk about setting and agreeing on a meeting. Es decir, programar y acordar un encuentro. En la clase de hoy, ustedes van a analizar algunos diálogos para ver palabras y expresiones que se utilizan para programar y acordar encuentros. Welcome to your English class. In last class, you learned a lot about future plans. You learned that you used going to to talk about your future plans. And I'm sure you remember this conversation. En la clase pasada, hablamos cómo hacer planes futuros. Y estoy segura que recuerdan que utilizamos going to. Y que también pueden recordar esta conversación. Next Holy Week, I'm going to go to the countryside. Oh, cool. I'm going to visit my family. Remember that when we're talking about future plans using going to, we use going to and the action that we're planning to do. Look at this. Example two, I'm going to visit my family. Also, you had a homework to complete. Do you remember that? I wanted you to complete this exercise by telling me what are your plans for these holidays. ¿Cuáles son tus planes para estos días? Did you complete your homework? ¿Completaron su tarea? Let's see some ideas that you could have used to complete this homework. Vamos a ver algunas ideas que ustedes pudieron utilizar para completar este ejercicio. Give it a check. Holy Week. What are your plans for Holy Week? Number one. I'm going to visit my relatives in the countryside. Number two, I'm going to go to the beach with my family. What about for your birthday? I'm going to watch a movie with my friends and I'm going to eat tacos and cake. I love tacos. What about on summer vacations? I'm going to visit my relatives in the countryside again, and I'm going to play sports with my friends. Remember that you don't have to do the exercise exactly the way you just saw it. Recuerda que no tienes que tener el ejercicio completo exactamente en la forma en que lo acabas de ver. Solo son ideas que te pueden ayudar a generar las tuyas. So, what are you learning in today's class? In today's class, you're going to learn to identify phrases used to express plans, future events, and agree on a meeting. Es decir, vas a aprender a identificar frases utilizadas para expresar planes, eventos futuros, y acordar un encuentro. Number two. You're going to write simple sentences to express plans, future events, and agree on a meeting. Es decir, vas a escribir oraciones sencillas para expresar planes, eventos futuros, y acordar un encuentro. To begin today's lesson, I want you to read some dialogues. In the dialogues, you're going to see what they're talking about, and also I want you to try to identify in which expressions they talk about future events. Let's see. This is a dialogue between Sergio and William. What are they talking about? Let's read along. Hey, it's book day next week. Yes, I will go to the International Book Fair. Wow, that's great. Do they have comics? I love comics. I think they do. Let's go together. Perfect. I'll be there on Monday. 
What is the conversation about? Is it about personal information? Is it about daily routines or celebrations? What is it about? What is it celebrated? Exactly, it's about a celebration. Book day, el día del libro. Take a look at the dialogue again. Which expressions seems to you to talk about the future? ¿Cuáles expresiones te parece que expresan alguna acción en el futuro? Look at the number one. I will go to the International Book Fair. I will go to the International Book Fair. Iré a la Feria Internacional del Libro. Any other? ¿Alguna otra? Look at the number two. Perfect. I'll be there on Monday. Perfecto. Estaré allí el lunes. In these two sentences, there is one word that is repeated. En estas dos oraciones hay una palabra que se repite. ¿Cuál es? Will. Let's talk or let's see a little bit more about how we can talk about future events and make promises. Vamos a ver cómo podemos hablar sobre eventos futuros y hacer promesas. Look at the word on the top. Mira la palabra que está en el tope, sombreada de rosado. Will. Will. This word is used in English to help the verbs to express a future. Esta palabra se utiliza en inglés para ayudar a los verbos a expresarse en tiempo futuro. Look at the sentence number one. Summer vacations will start in July. Las vacaciones de verano empezarán, will start in July. Will ayuda a start a expresarse o a ser expresada en un tiempo futuro. Will. También puedo utilizarla en su forma corta. Uh. Le quito la primera sílaba, le coloco un apóstrofo y lo coloco pegadito del sujeto. En este caso soy yo, I. I'll give a present to my mom on her birthday. Le daré. I'll give. Le daré. A present to my mom on her birthday. Number three. Tomorrow I will be at school at 7 o'clock a.m. I'll see you there. Tomorrow I will be, estaré. Be significa estar, igual que ser. Cuando yo le coloco will delante, entonces dice estaré. I will be at school at 7 a.m. I'm talking about a future event. Estoy hablando de un evento futuro. Ahora vamos a ver la segunda parte de esta expresión. I'll see you there. Te veré allá. I will or I'll see you there. Te veré allá. En esta ocasión, entonces, estoy haciendo una promesa. I'll see you there. Now it's your time to identify some expression expressing future events or promise in the following dialogue. Ahora es tu turno de identificar cuáles expresiones se refieren a futuro o hacer alguna promesa en el diálogo que aparece en la pantalla. Let's read it together. What are you going to do on New Year's Eve? I don't know. I think I will watch the fireworks with my friends. That sounds like fun. I will be in the United States of America that day. Yes, but let's meet online at 11 o'clock. I'll be happy to do that. What expressions or sentences in the dialogue seems to you to talk about the future. Let's check again. 
Number one, I think I will watch the fireworks with my friends. Creo que veré los fuegos artificiales con mis amigos. Number two, I will be, estaré, in the United States that day. Estaré en los Estados Unidos ese día. And finally, exactly, I'll be happy to do that. Estaré feliz de hacer eso. What are they talking about in this conversation? About daily activities? About celebrations or holidays? What holidays are they talking about? ¿De qué día de fiesta están hablando en este diálogo? Exactly, they're talking about New Year's Eve plans. Now, let's see how they invite each other and they agree on a meeting in the same dialogue. I want you to reread the dialogue again, and I want you to try to find out what expressions express setting a meeting and agreeing on a meeting. Ahora, quiero que volvamos a leer el diálogo y trates de identificar cuáles expresiones se utilizan para programar y acordar un encuentro. Let's read it again. Vamos a leerla de nuevo. What are you going to do on New Year's Eve? ¿Qué vas a hacer en Año Nuevo? I don't know. I think I will watch the fireworks with my friends. No sé, creo que miraré los fuegos artificiales con mis amigos. That sounds like fun. I'll be in the United States that day. Eso suena divertido. Estaré en los Estados Unidos ese día. Sí, pero... Yes, but... Let's meet online at 11. Vamos a encontrarnos en línea a las 11. Oh, yes, I'll be happy to do that. Estaré feliz de hacer eso. What parts of the conversation express setting a meeting and agreeing on a meeting? Let's take a look at them. Vamos a ver. Number one, let's meet online at 11. Encontrémonos o reunámonos en línea a las 11. Let's meet. Reunámonos. Let's meet online. And what about agreeing on a meeting? I'll be happy to do that. Estaré feliz de hacer eso. I'll be happy to do that. When I want to set a meeting, cuando yo quiero programar un, un encuentro con alguien, yo usualmente le hago una invitación, a la cual yo puedo o no estar de acuerdo. Durante esta clase vas a aprender tres expresiones que te van a ayudar a programar un encuentro y a acordarlo con amigos y familiares. Let's see. Setting a meeting. When you want to set a meeting, cuando quieres acordar un encuentro o programar un encuentro, puedes utilizar una de estas tres expresiones en inglés. Let's, let's, can you join me? Can you join me? ¿Puedes acompañarme? Can you join me? Come, vamos. Come, vamos. Cualquiera de estas tres expresiones te pueden ayudar a programar o a invitar a alguien a un encuentro. Look at the examples with let's. Let's. Let's se utiliza para invitar a alguien a hacer alguna actividad. Let's see a movie tonight. Let's go to the concert. Veamos una película esta noche. Let's go to the concert together. Vayamos al concierto junto. Can you join me? I'm going to a wedding next Sunday. Can you join me? Voy para una boda este domingo. ¿Puedes acompañarme? Can you join me? Cuando yo voy a utilizar Can you join me? Usualmente yo primero expreso el plan y luego invito a la otra persona. Lo mismo hago cuando utilizo a come. 
I'm going to have a barbecue tomorrow. Come. Ven. Voy a tener un barbecue mañana. Ven. When someone invites me to an activity, I can agree on that using the following expressions. Cuando alguien me hace una invitación a una celebración o alguna actividad, puedo acordar el encuentro utilizando las siguientes frases. Number one, I will be there. Estaré allí. I will be there. Number two, sure, I'll see you. Claro, te veré allá. I'll see you there. Te veré allá. Pero también puedo indicar el lugar exacto en que nos vamos a encontrar. I'll see you at school. I'll see you at the park. I'll see you at the diner. Also, I can say the time I'll arrive. También puedo indicar la hora en la que voy a llegar. I will arrive at 8 o'clock. Llegaré a las 8 en punto. I will arrive at 8 o'clock. Now let's practice the pronunciation for these expressions. Let's. Let's. Can you join me? Can you join me? Come. Come. I will be there. I will be there. Sure. I'll see you there. Sure. I'll see you there. I will arrive at 8. I will arrive at 8. Now it's time to complete some activities. I want you to complete two short dialogues. Quiero que completen dos diálogos cortos, in which you're going to complete expressions for making plans, talking about future events, setting and agreeing on a meeting. Look at the dialogue on the screen. Let's complete it. Use the prompts to help you. Utiliza las pistas que están en el mandato para ayudarte. Will, going, come, or be. I'm going to give you one minute to think about the answers. Now, let's complete it together. Hi, Tommy. I, one of these four words can complete this future event. Exactly, will. Hi, Tommy, I'll have a party next week. Hola, Tommy, tendré una fiesta la próxima semana. What about in the second part? I'm, very good. I'm going to invite all my friends. Voy a invitar todos mis amigos. Come, come, sure? Very good, I'll be there. I'll be there. Now let's see another dialogue. And in this occasion, I'm going to give you a minute also to think and complete it. Will, going, join me, or I'll be. Now, 
let's complete it together. Christy, tonight I'm... Yes, I'm going to make decorations for my wedding. Can you join me? Very good. Can you join me? ¿Puedes acompañarme? My sister will help. Mi hermana ayudará. My sister will help. And finally, yes. I'll be there at seven. I'll be there at seven. Well, guys, I know you have understand a lot about this. Yo sé que han entendido mucho. But remember that if you have any doubt or question, you can talk to your teacher at your school. Pero recuerda que si tienes alguna duda, puedes consultar a la docente de tu centro educativo. Now it's your time to create a dialogue. Ahora es tu tiempo de crear un diálogo. Quiero que escriban un diálogo como los que vimos en los ejercicios anteriores, en lo que se expresaban planes, se hablaban de eventos futuros, se invitaba a alguien o se programaba una reunión y se acordaba el encuentro. Tal como lo viste en los diálogos anteriores, vas a crear un diálogo con tus propias ideas. Cuando tengas el diálogo ya todo escrito, entonces vas a buscar un compañero de clase y lo van a conversar. Pueden grabarlo en un video o en notas de voz en cualquier aplicación de tu preferencia y luego enviárselo a tu docente. Además del diálogo que vas a crear, necesitarás completar el ejercicio número uno de la página 4 en tu cuadernillo de inglés. Well, in today's class, you learned a lot about talking about future events and making promises. Please don't forget, you use be going to to express future plans, like I'm going to watch a movie tonight. And you use will to talk about future events and make promises. For example, I'm going to watch a movie tonight. Also, we use will to agree on a meeting or to make promises and to refer to general future events. Like, the baby shower will be next Sunday. I'll be there. Also, in this class, you learn expressions to make invitations or set a meeting. También en esta clase aprendiste expresiones para hacer invitaciones o programar un encuentro. Como let's, can you join me? Come. Y también aprendiste a contestar o a acordar un encuentro con expresiones sencillas futuras. I will be there. Sure, I'll see you. I will arrive at eight. I hope you learned a lot in today's class. Espero que hayan aprendido mucho. Please, Always remember to wash your hands, wear a mask, and keep the social distancing. See you next class. Bye.